Good morning guys and welcome back to the saw shop. So this morning we have another famous pairing. Uh, first we have the 372. Uh, of course it's a clone of the 372 Husqvarna. It is a G372. It, it has the big bore in it so it's 76.5 cc's and then we have the clone of the MS460. Uh, of course stock it's 76.5 cc's out of the gate. It's going to get a big bore uh, I've just kind of been dragging my feet a little bit, but at this point it's paired equally. I believe after the big bore kit it comes in around 82 cc's and uh, looking forward to that. So I put a bit, I put a uh, mini pipe on the 460 getting ready for more flow for the larger big bore. But it's an interesting pairing at this point right here because they both are the same. Okay, uh, so uh, let's go ahead and cut to a clip and we'll be right back and let you guys uh, judge for yourself. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, so pretty equal pairing, it really is, uh, as far as who performed out, uh, who outperformed who. It's hard to say. Uh, this one is running a 28 inch bar right now, and the 460 is running a 20 inch bar. So it, as far as in that clip, uh, it's because it's the footage I've got right now. Uh, to do a more fair comparison, we would have to need to put a 20 inch bar on the 372, okay? Uh, but I've ran them both with 20 inch bars, and as far as how I feel about which one would outperform each other, man, it's pretty even. Of course, it would make sense because they're both 76.5 cc's. Uh, I can tell you, of course, I'm a little partial when it comes to the 372's. I just, you know, if there was ever a love affair with a, a saw, it's the 372 for me. And uh, so I'm a little partial when it comes to that. Now, however, uh, that's why it's kind of interesting that I, this one has the 28 inch bar on there. Uh, it's still caught, kept up, you know. Uh, now, I do have uh, a mini pipe on this one here, like we were speaking before, and uh, it's really made a difference in that saw. I mean, it opened it up, and of course, when the big board gets in it, it's really going to help the airflow come through. Uh, and so, uh, I'm really happy with it, guys. I really am. Uh, some might say that it's, yeah, you're hearing, uh, you're hearing uh, a loud sound. You think you're getting gain. Nah. Uh, anybody that's running some type of pipe or stuff like that. Uh, they know they're getting gain. Uh, there's a big difference when you do ports on the muffler, okay? Uh, but the pairing is very interesting, and so I really like that 460 a lot. I mean, I mean a lot, guys. Uh, uh, like I said, I'm very partial to these 372s, but I'm really starting to like some of these steel clones, okay? Uh, I know, kind of trader, trader. Uh, but, so, I'm going to be real interested to see how the 460 big board comes out. You know, like I said, 82 something cc's and and uh, I'm looking forward to that. Really am. I'll probably be doing that project maybe this, this coming weekend, uh, maybe next week. I'm not sure yet. So uh, we'll see how it fits in. I have some customer saws also to get done. So, uh, but I thought it'd be a cool little pairing for this morning and kind of a review on both saws. Uh, so. Let's let's let me tell you how they're performing as far as as that goes. Okay, um, uh, these three seventy twos are just infamous. I mean, they are famous when it comes to uh, how many mods you can do. I mean, it's just uh, uh, the sky's the limit. I mean, you can do a lot of mods with these three seventy twos. Of course, this is true with about any saw, but there's a lot you can do with these saws, um, and. I like the clone saws because the 372 OEMs are getting harder to find. Uh, if you guys look back through my videos, you'll see an OEM barn find that I found. Man, that thing was mint. And I was elated to get this saw because, I mean, as everybody knows, these are very hard. These saws in the OEM fashion are getting very uh, very hard to find, okay? Uh, nowadays, it's the X-Torque and, uh, and uh, different machine. And so uh, these... Uh, these are really, really, really rare machines. So being able to buy them in a clone fashion, dang, 
terroristic flies, guys. Uh, so to be able to buy them in the clone fashion is a good deal, okay? And and so uh, really liking this saw. I mean, as far as I've got four that I keep on hand that are my personal saws when it comes to these 372s in just clones. And then, of course, like I said, I have the OEM. Let's go ahead and bring that up. Let me pause you guys for just a second. Okay, so here we have the OEM barn find that I uh, uh, I came across a couple months ago, maybe three months ago. And uh, this saw was covered. Go back and check out that video. Um, this saw was covered in in oil and fines, and it had been run through the ringer. And uh, uh, as far as over the years, just coats and coats and coats of it. But it preserved it. It really did, because underneath it was an absolute gem, guys. And so. Uh, Let's talk about how the 372 OEM uh, uh, compares to the clone saw, okay? Uh, we've done a video of that in the past. Uh, however, we'll kind of recap that right now. Is there a power difference? Sure. Uh, much that, uh, I, that I can tell and a lot of saw builders might be able to tell, but you put it in the average person's hand and they're not going to tell a difference. Uh, uh, now I can tell you this, this one here is a big bore, of course, it's 76.5 cc, has a little mini pipe on it, and it is conservatively ported, okay, very conservatively ported, okay. Uh, some would say, well, why even bother? Probably so, you know what I mean? Uh, it's, but it's what I do, okay. Um, this saw is all stock, 100%, uh, uh, you say, that's, hence there's no pipe on it. There's no, I mean, it has a muffler mod on it. You guys can kind of see uh, extra opening there. Blah, blah. Okay. Uh, it is 100% stock uh, OEM. Okay. So I kept it that way because I, I do, I play and do <laughs> things with my clone saws that I obviously wouldn't necessarily do on an OEM. Okay. But it would be interesting to put the little mini pipe over on it and do some of the things like that. See how it ran. But. So these two saws compared to each other, this one's gonna outrun the OEM right now. Absolutely, because, uh, well, there's a CC difference to begin with, so it has that from the from it, and it has uh, a muffler mod, so of course, you know. So, but guaranteed right now, this this uh, uh, clone will outrun this OEM, absolutely. Uh, so, when I say stock version, if this was still stock, as far as uh, 72 CCs, this one is, uh, the, but the OEM would would uh, outpower it then. So, so the difference ain't that much, okay? So, uh, but again, these clone saws allow me to do uh, irregular things, so to speak, to saws and experiment, and and they have definitely allowed me to go to Chinese uh, chainsaw school, as I've said in the past. And so, I'm really thankful to the to the affordability of it. And to where I could go through in the last uh, year or so and learn these saws like I have. Uh, the very wide diversity of saws that I've had the ability to be able to learn how to tear down and rebuild and, and uh, have a vast more, a, a, a larger understanding of these saws. If not for the clones, I couldn't have done it as far as uh, being able to afford different saws. Okay, I would have had to learn the old school version uh, style of just having customer saws come in and... Uh, and so I wouldn't have had the opportunity that I've had. So, um, so I'm real happy with them. So that's kind of the comparison of these two saws as far as stock uh, OEM and uh, Chinese clone, okay? Uh, if I could only be stuck with one of these saws for life, and I know a lot of you guys, now I can do the work on them. Seals go out or if the parts go out, this and that. I really love this saw, guys. I mean, the Noisy Cricket is really, uh, it's a very angry little saw, and uh, I enjoy it. Uh, but this is a gem, and so don't misunderstand me, since I don't have to kick anything out of the collection. Uh, I won't be, and uh, 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 this one will be in my saw shop until the day I die. Uh, so don't misunderstand me. I, I love this OEM saw. Um, uh, I just really like this saw because I've done a lot of modifying to it. We're still in the honeymoon stage over here with this clone saw. So, uh, But there we have it. Is, we're going on. I like to keep the 
the videos under 10 minutes. And so, uh, guys, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. And I always wait to, at the very end to ask you guys to please uh, like the video. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, because I don't want to bother nobody in the beginning of the video. So if you've made it this far, I would uh, I'd ask you to please consider uh, liking the video. And as always, guys, stay safe.